This video is um, to explain to you how to set up your lab notebook and um, to explain to you what uh, you need to bring to class for tomorrow, which is Tuesday. I know some of the periods we ran out of time. Um, I didn't fully get to explain everything, so I just wanted to quickly make a video um, so you can come on and watch it if you had further questions. So um, if you're looking at the screen, the first slide you see right here is the AP Environmental Science Lab Report Template. And this is something that I handed out in class. And um, if you need an extra copy, it's on Edline. And I also have a ton of copies in my classroom. So if you don't want to print it, I have a bunch of copies that you can take with you. You should keep this lab report template someplace safe um, so that every time you uh, set up a lab, you can use this as a guideline. This is only the first part of it. There's actually a backside, but I'm only going to go over this fir first portion of it because this is all that you need to know for tomorrow. And then when you come to class tomorrow, we'll discuss the rest of the lab report template. So it says here for each experiment or lab completed, you'll be required to complete a laboratory report in your lab notebook. I will collect them and then I will grade them and hand them back to you. So some general guidelines uh, must be written in black or blue pen. You must write in ink in your lab notebook. If you began today writing in pencil, just write over it in pen. Um, never ever write in pencil. It says to leave the first two pages of your lab notebook, notebook blank for the table of contents, name of lab, date, and page. Uh, I'll show you how I want that to be set up. And for the most part, I think we set it up in most classes where you set up that first page as your table of contents. After the table of contents, you are going to number each page at the bottom right hand corner, starting with number one. And you're never going to write on the back of a page. That's something that's actually not written here, but uh, make sure that you realize that you're always going to write on the front side, never on the back of a page. The next part discusses errors that you may make in your lab notebook. Um, obviously, we expect some errors. You're not going to uh, have the perfect lab every time that you complete a lab. Um, but as you can see here, it says to never remove pages. So you're going to number those pages and you're never going to remove a page. If for some reason you completely messed up on a page, you can just put one big X through it and just um, start over on the next page. No whiteout. So you're never going to use whiteout in your lab notebook. You are going to use a single strike over to eliminate the mistake. Um, I do not require you to initial it, but if you do, that's perfectly fine, um, and that is considered good lab practices. Your format, you're going to start with the word title at, at the top of the page, and you'll underline it, and then you're going to summarize and try and give a specific title that is related to the lab. For tomorrow's lab, if you write environmental lab skills, that is perfectly fine. Then you, underneath your title, you're going to write the, the word purpose, underline it, and then you are going to give a rationale, or sorry, a rational explanation as to why you're conducting this experiment. Um, for tomorrow's lab, I will show you what you are going to use. You're just going to need the objectives. So on that first page of the lab, it says objectives, and you can write exactly what it says under the objectives. So I think there are three objectives that you're going to write under the purpose. And then for tomorrow, you're going to do your pre-lab questions. So under purpose, you're going to write the, the words pre-lab questions, underline. And then you are going to number your pre-lab questions. You never have to write the actual question itself, just, um, just the answer. And you'll always write in complete sentences. For tomorrow, you are going to be defining vocab terms for number one of the pre-lab questions. You are not required to write those in complete sentences. So you can simply write the vocab word, write a dash, and then um, summarize the definition. Um, and then for tomorrow, it says that you are going to cite your sources as to where you got those uh, definitions from. And you are more than welcome to use like a dictionary.com, your textbook. Um, just at the end of all of your, um, your uh, definitions, just um, tell me where you got those definitions. So moving on. 
this is what I tried to show you in class today. So this is what your table of contents will look like. I wrote in marker here. I don't want you to write in marker, but um, I wanted to make it very obvious. So I wrote the, the, the words table of contents underlined. Um, I saw a few people making some charts to make it more organized and neat. That is perfectly fine. But um, you're going to write name, date, page, and you can write exactly what it says here. Environmental lab skills. Tomorrow's date is 826, and you will begin the lab on page one. According to my um, lab report template, you're going to skip a page. So if you didn't do this, that's OK. We're really not going to do so many labs where we're going to have to go on to another page. But um, good lab practice is to skip a page because if you write big, you may end up writing onto this page. This page also may become the table of contents. Turn the page again, and this is where we're going to start our lab. So you can see the little bottom in the right hand, or the little number one in the uh, bottom right hand corner. And you have your title, you underlined it, you wrote environmental lab skills. Purpose, underlined it. Again, here you're going to have those three objectives that are on the lab, um, which is posted onto Edline. So you can go onto Edline, um, print it off, and you are going to just simply write exactly what it says under the objectives here. This, that's the purpose. And then once you're done writing those, you'll write pre-lab questions, that, that those words, underline it, and then you'll start with a little number one. And again, those first that first question actually has to do with um, defining vocab terms. So then you'll start defining. And if obviously, if you have to go on to the next page, that is perfectly fine. Just remember that you are not going to write on the back of a page. And then here are the pre-lab questions. Like I said, you'll find this um, on Edline. And um, you can print it off. But basically, you're going to put this. It says that the, the question section at the end of the report, you're really not going to do that. You're going to put it under the pre-lab question section in your lab notebook. Um, and so tomorrow when you come into class, I'm just going to be checking off your title, purpose, and pre-lab questions that everything's complete. And once I see that everything has been completed, I will give you a stamp and then um, that will tell me when I actually collect your lab notebook that you completed the pre-lab on time. So um, Hopefully you don't have any further questions. If you need anything, you can email me. Um, but it should be pretty simple, and I will see you tomorrow.